Hello, this is Steven Turner in the UVA Bioinformatics Corps, and I wanted to show you a few more nice things that you could do with the Ensemble Biomart in this video. So let's say that you're reading a paper. I've got this uh, paper, uh, Discovery of Novel Biomarkers with Microarray and PBMCs uh, in benzene-exposed workers in human. And so in Table 1 of this paper, they give you a list of the top 25 differential expressed genes, their probe set IDs, uh, for the Affymetrix 133 plus 2 chip. And so let's say that you only had the Affymetrix probe set IDs and you wanted to know what the gene names were. I showed you how to do this in the last video. Uh, but let's say that you wanted to take this a step further and know what all the mouse orthologs for these genes were. And further, you wanted to know what the Affymetrix probe set ID uh, for the platform on mouse that assays this orthologs expression in mouse. And you can do all this really easily uh, using Biomart. So if we go to uh, ensemble.org here and click Biomart. We're going to use Ensemble Genes. We're going to use the human set. And so we're going to filter by the Affymetrix 133 plus 2 uh, gene IDs. So I'll paste those in here. You can get those from the paper. And so if we do a count here, we'll see that we have uh, 25 genes in total after, our, our, after we implement the limitation. And if we go here, uh, let's select attributes. Let's say that I want the gene ID, uh, the gene name, and the description. And so if we hit results, I want unique results only, and let's just say 200 just so we see them all at once. Uh, and we can see the gene names for all those probe set IDs. So how do we get the mouse orthologs? So if we go back to attributes and click homologs, and down here in gene, let's say that we want the, the gene ID, the gene name, uh, and the description. And in orthologs, if we scroll down, we see that we can select the mouse ensemble gene ID. But you notice that there is no other mention of the mouse gene name or any other information about, about the mouse genes. So what we actually have to do in this case, let's get rid of this, is we have to add another data set. So here I'm going to go and select the, the mouse genes data set. And of the attributes here, I want the mouse gene ID, the mouse gene name, the mouse gene description. And under external, I'm going to select, uh, let's say that we have the, 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 the 430A uh, version 2 uh, probe set. And so if I hit results, what this should give me is a list of all the human gene IDs, the human gene descriptions, uh, the human gene names, as well as the mouse gene ID, the gene name, the description, and the probe set for the, for the Affymetrix 430A2 uh, platform. So this query might take a little while. So that query is now done, and you can see that you have a list of all the human gene IDs, the associated gene name and the description, along with the mouse ortholog, the name of the gene in mouse, and the description. And these names match for the most part. They're, they're mostly the same. And the, the AFI uh, 430A2 probe set ID. So if you have a mouse data set that's similar and you wanted to look at this uh, in mouse, you could, you could then search your gene expression results for these probe set IDs. You can also then click on some of these gene IDs for mouse, let's say, and it'll show you a little bit more about this uh, particular gene. And you can also then uh, click over here on orthologs and limit this to human, let's say, and then you could do a region comparison and see what this region looks like on human. So the mouse gene is on uh, chromosome 15. Uh, it just happens that this is on the uh, X chromosome in humans. And you can even get a kind of a, a broader picture of what this looks like uh, using the um, Centony viewer.